How's it going, guys? So, um, kind of a little unexpected early. Um, I just about have everything. Well, at this point, um, at, at this point right now, from when I'm making this video, I almost have every thing I'm waiting for in the mail. I'm just waiting on a couple more things. I had two things come in today, which I'm very excited about um, to show you guys. But uh, I still have two more records that I'm waiting on before I can completely do my whole vinyl collection series. Um, but I thought since I thought now the two that I'm waiting on, I need to do uh, part two. So I'm just going to get part one for now until I get the other two that I need. But like I said, I mean, from now, the day, the day that I'm making this video, this video won't be uploaded for a couple more days, so by then I'll probably already have the records. But um, what I'm planning on doing is showing five records per video. Uh, that way it gives me plenty of time to show everything about the record on them, talk about it, uh, my feelings on it. Um, this video, though, I'm going to show six, uh, mainly just for the simple fact that one of the records, uh, one of the albums is a duplicate, but it's two different versions. So... But these are, but this uh, video will be all of my A's. But yeah, like I said, I've said before in my other videos, I don't have a big record collection. Um, I do have a good variety, though. And I, I've always believed in quality over quantity, you know. And I do have a very good variety of uh, stuff. Even though my Motley Crue, my Wasp vinyls completely outweighs everything, um, I still have a lot of... Um, other cool stuff that I'm pretty sure s at least something one thing in my collection will appeal to everybody um, anyways enough of my rambling let's get started first one this is Aerosmith with rocks like I've said before um, my favorite um, Aerosmith album <clears throat> Um, my favorite Aerosmith song is definitely Nobody's Fault. It's so heavy. Great. Um, the jacket is in horrible shape. Obviously, I did not get this new. This is used. You know, it's like, it's an original copy. Um, there's the, uh, insert in the back, which I, I do like that. That's pretty cool. Got this, um, used, obviously at my local record store. Vinyl is not in the best shape. It plays fine though. There were no um, um, skips that I could recall. Very, very good album though. And I'm, I'm sure some of you, I don't know, I don't know the variety of, you know, metal heads or rockers that are going to be watching these videos, but um, 70s Aerosmith is definitely good. Their 80s stuff left a lot to be desired, but you can't really say shit about Aerosmith's 70s stuff. Um, I guess it would be nice to get some of their other 70s stuff on vinyl, just haven't gotten around to it. Um, but yeah, this is a very, this is a very, very, very good hard rock album. Very good. Show that again. It's also got, um, yeah, I mean, a couple songs on here that everybody knows. Back in the Saddle, Last Child. Yeah. Also, I wanted to mention, too, um, so, in case anybody uh, that lives in, like, the St. Louis area, um, the record store that I go to a lot, it's a record store in, uh, South County called, um, uh, CD Warehouse. Very good selection, a lot of cool stuff, it's where I get a lot of my CDs and, uh, uh, vinyl and stuff from. There's a, sh a shit ton of CDs, a shit ton of records, so if any of you guys watching this live in the St. Louis area, you know, just check it out if you haven't been there yet. Um, in my opinion, they have way better selection than vintage vinyl. Alrighty, next album. 
This is Alice Cooper. Welcome to my nightmare. Definitely, uh, it's my favorite Alice Cooper album. Um, favorite song is def, def. My favorite Alice Cooper song is definitely Department of Youth. That's that's always been one of my favorite Alice Cooper songs. It's the only only Alice Cooper album I have on vinyl, though. Sadly. And again, with Alice Cooper, I'm not too keen on the stuff that came, like, you know, um, in the 80s, but the, set, the 70s and late 60s stuff was gold. And again, also got this at my local at CD Warehouse. The vinyl is definitely in a lot better shape than the other one, though, that's for sure. But anyway, good stuff. Uh, Cold Ethel, I think that's how you pronounce it. That's a good track. Got, uh, of course, the title track, Welcome to My Nightmare, is awesome. Black Widow. And then the, I guess you could you would call it a ballad, Only Women Bleed. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very good album, though. I haven't listened to this album in a while. I should, I should, uh... Pop it on the needle sometime and give it a listen. I know this, when I bought this, it didn't come with a proper inner sleeve. I might have one to replace it, though. I just have to go, I have to go check. But yes, Alice Cooper, Welcome to My Nightmare. Very, very good record. I, I hope most of you watching this video have, do listen to Alice Cooper. I, I fucking hope so. If not, that's, that's a damn shame. Alrighty, uh, moving right along. Now, next two things you're going to see is the duplicate I was talking about. But, um, like I said, it, it's two different versions of it. Um... This is, I've mentioned this in my CD collection video. This is probably the band that got me into just like hard rock and ultimately bridged my way into heavy metal when I was like in sixth grade. This is Alkaline Trio and this is their third album from here to Infirmary. Um, I believe Let's see. Doesn't say what date. I know it's a reissue, obviously, but I don't know when the exact year it came out. But um, here's the um, sleeve with all the lyrics on it. And I guess that's just credits. And um, I actually bought this off a friend. I think, yeah. Yeah, this is the one I bought off my friend. And it's green vinyl, which is very, very cool. It's kind of a clearish green vinyl, too, so that's pretty sweet. But yeah, this this is a very good album. Um, um, this was from their days when they were still pretty punk rock, you know. I know everybody has their own definition of what they feel punk rock is, but these guys were definitely punk rock in their early days. And it's just a really, really good album. Um, which mean, check out the songs um, Private Eye, uh, Stupid Kid. Stupid Kid is probably their most well-known song. Um, Armageddon is good. If any of you guys ever played Tony Hawk's Underground 1, Armageddon. That was actually the song that got me into Alkaline Trio was Armageddon. Um bloodied up, um, shit, you're dead, it's, 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 there's not one bad song on this album, and I would encourage you guys to go check it out, if you're, if you're into, you know, that kind of punk rock, you know, I would encourage you to check it out, but anyways, Alkaline Trio, From Here to Infirmary, very, very good album. 
I've probably listened to this album more times than any other album in my whole life. It's it's that good. I used to listen to it every fucking day, at least once, because it was so good. But anyways, brings me to the next one. All right, again, I'm pretty sure this is just the same, uh, same one. Yeah, it's got this. I'm not gonna reshow the lyric insert, but I will show the vinyl because it is a different color. Red vinyl. It's kind of clear too. You guys can see the fucking glare. God damn it! I thought I was gonna fix that computer shit. Fuck. I gotta remember to fucking change that next time. That way there's not a glare. I'm trying to show my shit here. But yeah, again, like I said before, you need to check this album out. I mean, these, these this words cannot describe how fucking much I love this band. They're just, they're so good. And their newer stuff leaves a lot to be desired, but their older, the, their first four or five albums are really good. Like their first album was God Damn It, which you guys saw that if you've seen my CD collection video. Um... Second album was Maybe I'll Catch Fire, which is really good. Um, third album was From Here to Infirmary. Fourth album um, is, uh, you also saw that one, which was Good Morning. That's a good one. Uh, fifth one was Crimson. That was the, kind of the last one that I was really into. After that, they they just they started to really change and kind of went in towards a more emo direction. But I mean... It, Still good nonetheless. I mean, I will still always love that band. Okay. Uh, now we're going to completely fucking turn around and move to thrash metal. <laughs> Anthrax. This is the Armed and Dangerous EP. Released on Megaforce Records. I believe this was the first release with uh, Joey Belladonna, I believe. Um... Have this on cassette as well, which you saw that if you've seen my cassette collection video. A lot of good shit on here. Um, it's got um, Armed and Dangerous, obviously. Uh, Raise Hell, which I don't know if that's an unreleased track. I don't remember if that's an unreleased track or if that's a cover. Maybe it's a Motorhead cover. I don't know. I could have sworn Motorhead has a song, had a song called Raise Hell. I could be wrong. I probably am wrong, so please correct me. Um, they got a cover of God Save the Queen, which is, uh, fuck, Sex Pistols, am I right? Yeah. Uh, Metal Thrashing Mad live version and uh, a live version of Panic. I don't know if you guys can see that there without the glare fucking everything up like it always does. But yeah, it's really good stuff. Yeah. Very, very good. Got this at my local record store. I mean, I guess this isn't that hard to find. I mean, I've checked on eBay a couple times. It's not really that hard to find, I don't think. I think I only got it for eight bucks, maybe? I don't know. I honestly don't remember. Um, there is no insert or anything. It's just a fucking inner, plain white inner sleeve. Um... This record's not too dinged up. For some reason, it does feel really flimsy. I don't know. The vinyl from back then was so cheap, you know? But yeah, it's got the classic silver label for Mega Force Records. So, yeah. Very cool. Would very much like to get Fistful of Metal on LP. But if I ever do that, you guys will see it in a vinyl update video. So. <laughs> My friend has Fistful of Metal on vinyl. I'm so fucking jealous. Okay, last one I'm going to show in this video. Spreading the Disease. Fucking great. This was their... 
uh, first album with Joey Belladonna on vocals. Um, actually, is this a, no, this isn't a Megaforce pressing. Yeah, this isn't a Megaforce pressing. I don't remember if they released this album, or if this was the album that got them their deal or what, or a record deal, I don't remember. With Island Records, I don't know. It's Island Records, it says Island Records on the sleeve, so or on the uh, outer cover spine, so I'm assuming that's, I'm assuming that's the case. But yeah, so there's the little cool little picture there. Definitely some funny shit on there. If you guys can read any of that, I don't know if you can or not. But yeah, lyrics on the back. It doesn't have a silver label, so I'm assuming it's not like an original Megaforce pressing. No, it's Island, it even says here. Like I said, I don't know if they signed to Island Records before this came out, or if there there was a strictly Megaforce pressing of Spreading the Disease. I don't remember. But yeah, great album. Um, Lone Justice, of course, the classic Madhouse. All great songs. Uh, of course, Armed and Dangerous. Um, Medusa is definitely my favorite song on this album. That, I love that album. I love that song. It's so great. But yeah. Great thrash album, that's for sure. I much prefer... I know everybody says that Among the Living is Anthrax's peak. Or some, some also say that Persistence of Time was, but... Um, if we're just talking about Joey Belladonna albums, I go with Spreading the Disease. Fistful of Metal is still my favorite Anthrax album, but... Um, if I had to choose an album with Joey Belladonna, it would be Spreading the Disease. But yes, if you have not heard this album, you are f missing out. Which I I'm sure most of you have. I mean, there's no way, you know, that any metalhead could say they, they have never heard, you know, Spreading the Disease. But yes, very good album. Alright, that's all I got to show. Like I said, this will be the only video where I will show six records. Every other video after this is going to be five. Um, but yeah, um, thanks for watching. Um, like, same as usual, some feedback, some comments. If you, if you liked it, um, subscribe would be kind of nice because you're definitely going to be seeing more. All right, thanks for watching.